10. Blocks Fruits Tips and Tricks 1. Choosing the right accessory can be fundamental for your PvP and progression. I recommend choosing either Pilot Helmet or Hunter's Cape. Pilot Helmet is the accessory that gives the most speed buff in the game. While Hunter's Cape is very good if you're Sword Main or in V4. 2. For getting mastery on your swords and fighting styles, there's a really OP strat. First you need to go to North Pole, which is located in Sea of Treats. Then go in your Buddha transformation and do the Buddha glitch with his pressing Buddha Z and or fighting style or sword at the same time. After that then just turn on an auto clicker and go in circles like this. It's also a great way to train your V4. 3. When you're bounty hunting try to bait your opponent's moves. For example, if I were fighting an ice user, I would go near him. Then flash step away the second he does his ice V, and then push him. It works really well against ice V, soul guitar, X rumble, X, etc. 4. Choose the correct race for your needs. When choosing or race, go off this. If you're bounty hunting, use angel because the V for aura deals a lot off damage, and makes you very hard to combo. If you're still grinding levels, go for Mink, as the speed will help you. Go around the map easier, and do quests faster. If you're Sea Beast hunting a lot, use Shark, so you don't take damage from seawater. If you're grinding a lot off Master, use Cyborg, because the V for electric damage will kill the enemies very fast. 5. To get a lot of fragments without doing any raids. Then do Elite Hunter quest every time you can, and do Dummy quest every hour. Elite gives 100 fragments, plus a chance to get God's Chalice. With you can spawn Indra, Indra gives 1.5k fragments. Dummy quest gives to 100 fragments and you can do it every hour. Elite spawn every 8 minutes, that equals 7 times in an hour with his 700 fragments plus the 200 from Dummy Quest. That equals 900 fragments every hour. 6. When you're low level a common mistake is to buy mythical fruits from the stock or eat one. Mythical fruits are very bad for leveling up and have high mastery requirements so you will most likely have to eat another fruit to grind levels. It's just a waste off money until you max level. 7. When you're using Buddha to grind levels with, put 80% of ore stats in melee and rest in defense instead of sword. So melee does more damage than sword, because you don't have to put stat points in melee for energy. And grind for superhuman early on and get the V to fighting styles, it's faster grinding. Then when leveling up then, win or max level. 8. A common mistake for people getting max level with Buddha is to directly after getting max level. Eat a mythical fruit or buy one from stock, like T-Rex or Doe or Kitsune, while only having one or two swords with mastery on them. Before you eat a different fruit, you should mastery up all good swords. So you have something to choose between, and don't get bored the same with fighting styles. 9. Up in the right corner, there's a server browser, with you can use to filter to the server near you, so you get less ping and lag. Ten. When you're fighting against teamers, try to camp outside of their range, and hit them, and run till you get V4. Then spam or a OE moves. OE means area off effect, with means moves that has a big hitbox. When one teamer gets low, rush him fast and kill him, and then you should be able to win. Hope you enjoyed this vid and found it useful. If you did. Like and subscribe.